The last example we'll look in this section is this, and what we're doing is we're talking about angular speed in radians per second. So right now we have angular speed, so something that revolves basically eight revolutions per second. As you can see, that's a pretty quick little thing there. Uh, eight revolutions per second, we're going to determine how many radians that is per second. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a conversion factor. Well, we want to cancel our revolutions, so we're going to put revolutions in the denominator of our fraction. We would really like to get radians per second, so we'll put radians on top. Now our job is to figure out how those two things can have different units and be equal to each other. So we'll see if we can't figure that out. And what you should know is that one revolution around a circle, well one revolution represents two pi in terms of radians. If you were doing revolutions to degrees, you would say one revolution is 360 degrees. And then once you see that, hopefully you can see the revolutions will cancel. So that same angular speed will be going 16 pi radians per second. So just a way that we can kind of get revolutions and our radians uh, and how we, can, how we can see how they're related to each other.